Hello guys and welcome back to lead logics. This is the range sum of BST problem from lead code. This is lead code easy and the number for this is 938. So in the given problem, we are given with the root of a binary search tree and we have two integers, a low and a high. We have to return the sum of values of all the nodes with the value in the inclusive range of low to high. That means the value should be in between the range low to high. And we can also use a property of the binary search tree that there, if there is a particular node, then the left node will be always smaller than uh, the particular node and the right node will be always greater than this node. So this property can be used in solving the problem. So <clears throat> we'll be using a depth first search to solve this problem. And uh, we will be traversing in the uh, depth first way and we will be checking if the value of the current node is in between the inclusive range of low to high if it is then we will be adding it in the sum or the answer otherwise if it is smaller we will call it call the on the right hand side or the right uh, subtree we will not call the left subtree if it is smaller because using the property of a binary search tree if a node is smaller than the uh, uh, range then its left subtree will also be smaller because the left subtree is always smaller than the current node. So similarly we are going to solve the problem. So for this, uh, let's take an example how we are going to solve. Suppose we have this example, this tree. So at the root we have a 15. So initially the sum will be set to 0. The answer will be set to 0 and uh, this will be used to store the final sum or the answer then we have a search function and this search function uses a depth for search that we'll be calling using the root of the tree so initially we have given the root 15 now for every value we'll be checking like if the current node that is 15 is between the range 10 to 22 the range was given 10 to 22 yes so it is added into the answer so the answer becomes 15 and now we can go to the left and the right part so first we go to the left part because it's dfs so in the left part we have now the dfs called with 10 so search function is called with the node 10 since 10 is also in the inclusive range because low and high are included so 10 is also in the inclusive range so 10 is also added to the answer okay and then we can call upon its children that is 5 and 13 so okay let's call upon 5 and 13 as well first we'll go to 5 because it is the left side so when we call for 5 the it is outside the range it is less than 10 so since it is less than 10 we need not uh, try the, its left subtree however the right subtree might be possibly in the range so we'll go for that so the next is up is the node 11 so for the node 11 we uh, we add it into the range because node 11 is in the possible range actually this should be 11 should be a child of 13 according to this explanation but anyways i'm telling you so the 13 node is also in between the range so it should be also added to the answer so it is also added and 11 is also added this 11 is actually a right child of 13 not the right child of 5 this just looking like that so in this way we have done all the recursive calls we'll do all the recursive calls so since the left subtree of the 15 is done we move to the right part we have a 20 it is also in the range so we have added into the answer and we call it child so it does not have a left child we have a right child that is 25 this is outside the range so we do not perform any addition on this so we are left with the answer uh, that is 69 and 69 will be a possible answer for this solution so let's see how we are going to do this let's come to the code section 
but before that do like the video share it with friends and subscribe to the channel if you're new to the channel so the first step is to check if the root is not equal to null so it should not be equal to null if it is then return 0 since if the root is 0 there are 0 chances or values to add and if the value of the current node is within the range then we have to include its value in the sum and continue searching for the left and right so we'll write that part if low is less than equal to root dot value and then root dot value is also less than equal to high this means current node value is possibly in the range then what we have to do then we have to return root dot fan so current node value is added to the now we will take this let's copy this and we'll call on the root dot left low will be seen high will be seen plus we'll call it again root dot right low will be seen high will be seen so this is the case when the current node value was within the range now we have to write the logic when it is outside the range when or it is so there are two cases of possibly being out of the range that is one is it is smaller than the lower low bound of the range then in that case we we'll return only the right side if it is smaller then we only return the right side and if it is greater then we return the left side so if it is greater then we have to return the left side So let's see if it runs. So there has been some error. Let's see what the error is. Okay, I have written it right. It is actually high. I think this should run fine. Yeah, it passes for the sample test cases. passes the hidden test cases as well with a good time complexity and a good memory complexity now the time complexity for this solution is o of n because we uh, traverse the binary search tree at the worst case of n in the worst case and the space complexity is the height of the tree because we the recursion call stacks takes only the height of the tree so this is the possible time complexity and the space complexity you can also check the C++ Python JavaScript code by going into the solutions panel and you can check this solution this is my solution and you can also see the intuition the approach explained here the complexity the Python code Java C++ and JavaScript code and yes do remember to upvote me I hope you understood the logic do like the video, share it with your friends and subscribe to the channel if you are new to the channel. Thank you for watching the video. Have a nice day.